What's up everybody? Um, I'm going to show you right now how you can program your Checkmate or Commander uh, brand alarm remote controls. I got a few here in front of me. This guy here. These came in three button, four buttons. I have a couple here to show you. This is the three button with the green LED as you can see right there. And then we got this one here. That's a four button. Never mind the logo on it. That was just relabeled by some Dodge Deal or wherever they were. Um, so that's one of one of the most popular two, that's for sure, these two guys. And it's also this one. This one's rather popular. Wasn't the greatest seller in its heyday, but yeah, whatever, they're pretty popular. So I figured I'd grab one from the back and show you folks what's what. All right, so on all these, you notice that you got, this one has three buttons, same thing going on here, three, and then over here you got four. You don't have to, with programming these things, have to know about programming all the independent channels like you do with some of these brands. You only have to program one button, okay? Now, with Checkmates, uh, these things are extremely temperamental to program. They're not easy. Um, so that's why I actually made this video because I sell these things on my website. I sell them on eBay. People buy them all the time, and when they get them, they do get free programming instructions. They take it home. And they're like, well, where's my valet switch? Well, how do, how's this? How's that? And, you know, they, they can't get these things working no matter how hard they try. And I, you know what? Honestly, I can't blame these people because for me, sure, this is easy. It's a joke. I get in the car. One, two, three, I get these things done. But to a regular user who's just saying, I, I got uh, an alarm that's driving me crazy and I can't shut it off and I have a remote and this guy has a remote, you get it in the mail and then you, you're completely befuddled by how to program it. I can understand why. With some of these things, like Audiovox and other brands, they're so darn easy, anybody can do it. But some of these things are so much more challenging. This one here, I'd have to say, I've even myself struggled with these things at, at times. So, uh, this video is very well warranted. Um, I'm going to put these remotes down and I'm going to basically give you a dry run first on how you program these things. Um, and you can stop the, stop the video, pause it, rewind. You may have to look at it a couple times because it, it is a, this complicated. Um, don't ask me why, I, I, I don't know. But anyway, if you wanted to program your remotes, the first thing you have to do is you have to have <coughs> your alarm into valet, excuse me. Okay, so let's just say the worst case scenario for you folks that do not have a remote. Say you had one and it just took a crap, you lost it, whatever the story is. Okay, so when you get into your car, you unlock it, you open up the door, your alarm's going off. So first thing you need to do is put into valet mode. So in order to do that in the worst case scenario without a remote is this way. Open up your door with your key, obviously your remote doesn't work. Open it up, your alarm is going ballistic. Take your key, turn it to the ignition position. Then you need to find your valet switch underneath your driver's dashboard, okay? It's usually underneath your driver's dash panel somewhere or in the kick panel. Like if you were sitting and you took your left foot and slapped it to the left, down there in the corner is what I call a kick panel. And that's a lot of times where you'll find them or under the dash. Um, it's going to look kind of like this maybe not exactly but like this okay and what it is you only see this piece it's a push button momentary style switch okay it could also look something like this a black one red one black one whatever okay this is your valley switch so now let's just say you open up your car you turn the key to the on position you're going to want to press this five times one two three four five your alarm should shut up and cease at that point now from there what you're going to do is turn the key off, turn it back on, push it once, you should get one shirt from your alarm siren. The LED on your, on your driver's dash, wherever your LED light is located, that should stay on solid. That's what you need to see before you can go forward programming your remote. Now, for the people who are blessed with already having one working remote control, bypass that step that I just said. Now, all you're going to do is unlock your door with your remote like you normally would, turn your key on, press this button once, you should get that chirp and your lights on that, I'm sorry, the LED light on your dashboard should stay on steady at that point. Once you're in valley mode, now you can go to the second phase of programming the transmitter. Okay? I'm just going to refresh my memory and tell you as I go. So what you're going to do is within five seconds, that's very important, within five seconds of after putting it into valet, you have to take your key, turn it to accessory, not ignition, accessory. So when you get your key and you turn it on to the first click, Accessories going to turn on your radio and that stuff. 
the next position is going to be the ignition position, which is the one that the key rests at after you crank the car over. You don't want it on ignition. You want it on the first click, which is accessory, okay? So valet, stick the key in, accessory, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, leave it on. And then you're going to get a long siren chirp, which means the alarm is ready to accept the transmitter. At that point, then you grab your remote control, hold down the lock button till you hear a chirp confirming that the alarm took the code. If you have more than one transmitter, do the same thing on the second one. After you've programmed all your transmitters, turn your key to the off position and test them. And that should be everything that you need to know about programming them. So just to rehash, put the vehicle in the valet mode, accessory off, accessory off, accessory, leave it on, wait for the chirp, then depress and hold the buttons on the first remote, second remote, third, fourth, you can only do up to four, and once that's done, turn the key off, and that's all there is to it. Your checkmate remotes should be working by now. And that's, that's really it, the checkmate.